what up tube we had to start a new channel because somehow my other channel was shut down and i had to do the t10 again which is playing on a ceiling mount and the t10 as you can see is absolutely phenomenal and the t10 is 1920 by 1080 and it goes from 45 inch to 200 inch screen size 4.3 to 16.9 aspect ratio it is 200 angiolumens and the contrast ratio is 5000 to 1 and you can see the full HD on the screen this is a ambient white screen flow ratio of 1.37 I think Now there is certain settings on the T10, it has three light power settings. At the top you can see economic, when I push the button you'll see the screen brighten up, as you can see. And I push it again, and it goes a little bit brighter, so push it again. Now the first setting on economic is 65 watt, and the second setting on standard is 75 to 76 watt. And I have had a, a wattage reader so I can find out this information for people. And that is high light brightness, which is 90 to 92 watt. So the economic, I'll keep it on so it's readable on the screen. That's much better. <clears throat> so you really don't have to alter your contrast or the brightness, anything like that, it's quite simple and you have your colour temp the aspect ratio has a few settings you have auto 4.369, zoom 1, zoom 2, just scan I like panorama, or you have point to point so come like that, you have the denoise setting for videos only can obviously rotate it, I have it on a ceiling mount, so we can rotate it, and you can reduce the display screen obviously to down to 75%, but with the fire stick it somehow isn't doing this setting anymore, which I'll have to contact the website where I got it from, because that is another fault I've had with it, it did arrive broken. The side panel is broken off where the air intake or the audio and the AV port are, which I'll show you in a second. You have different sound modes, movie, sports, user standards. So I just keep me on movie because it's the best sound setting on it. You have different surround settings. I had mine off. You have SRS or surround sound. The SRS is actually quite excellent sound. Anyway, the next one is a shut down sleep timer. And this is the last page. And power mode direct, if you turn this on, this function, it means as soon as you switch on the projector, you don't have to use the remote control button there power up it will just power up itself and come straight on but another factor is the keystone there is no optical keystone I'll show you where the keystone is now there you can see the keystone knob and the focusing knob but on the description it says that you have a choice of optical keystone or the side knob and on the bottom it does have the controls in case you lose the remote and they're just like a, a rubbery texture 
which is quite cool. And on the other side, you have the AV and headphone port. Now, this actually broke off when uh, it arrived, so I had to pay to get that fixed. And on the back, if you plan to get it to have a VGA port, it does not have one, it only has one HDMI port, I've got the fire stick in, it has two USB ports, and that is all. So if you want it for a VGA port, you're going to have to get an extension. But uh, back to the projector itself. Now it is an incredible, incredible projector, man. I own many projectors, like the, the Blitz BWVP1 that's right behind me, or just below the T10 on a shelf so I can play one or the other and I use the fan if the room is either smoky or too hot during the summer I have two Bluetooth headsets for movies and some 3D glasses but the projector itself as I said is absolutely unbelievable just look at the image on that screen I would say definitely buy a screen don't just use your wall because you're missing out on so much detail. But I'm sure you can see that the T10 is absolutely unbelievable. Another feature with it is the sound setting. Now it goes up in fives. So this is the first setting. <clears throat> Excuse me, it does sound okay. 10. Sorry if it gets loud. I'm just letting you hear the volume. That's 70%, and that's louder than most projectors. But uh, it depends what you're watching. Sometimes you might have to turn it up and down, up and down if you're having trouble with neighbors or a house next door and it's a bit loud because it, it does play some wicked sound man and there is two fans inside the T10 this side panel here actually comes off it has a dust cover inside you just undo the two clips at the top and then once you unclip it you just clean the little dust cover and slide it back in and then um, you back to normal. A nice clean projector with fresh air going through, not dusty air. And I've not cleaned it since I've had it arrive, so you can see that it's still incredibly clean. But oh man, when you're watching a movie, this thing is incredible, man. It really, really is worth purchasing. Right now, they're only around. 80 great British pounds to 85 British pounds on their Banggood website. Trust me, you need to go and buy one if you ain't got one, man. These are as good as a short throw projector, man. Just it's only three and a half, four meters from the screen. And the short throw would be six inches, three inches. But the image for me, for where I've got my projector, compared to having the short throw, which I would get, but it's a hassle of cleaning it, and I'd be afraid it got damaged, so I would just stick with the, the budget projectors I've got, because I do have about 16, but I'll do other videos soon, since I've just got my new channel starting. But there you go, guys. <clears throat> There's the T10. Absolutely outstanding projector well worth the money under 100 great british pounds that's phenomenal if you've not go, got one i definitely recommend you go and buy one now and just look at the detail on that man it's incredible even like the writing on the screen you can see how detailed that writing is you don't have to squint your eyes or anything even when it says like two month 1.1 million views it's very small writing but it's very very readable it's 
It really is cool, man. Such an amazing projector. Anyway, if you've not got one, I definitely recommend you go and buy one. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of the video. That's all for me guys, peace out.